Hello all you Facebookers, YouTubers, Tweeters out there, and all you coffee fanatics. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mr. Coffee Review. I am your host, Mr. Coffee. Today I'm getting into this review with another coffee. This is a flavor-infused coffee by Archer Farms. This one is Vanilla Bean Creme Brulee, and this has notes of creamy vanilla custard and caramelized sugar. This is a light roast coffee. Um, on the side here, it says, Enjoy the quality and elegance of Coffee House Java without leaving home. Archer Farms delivers peak flavor and aroma because we begin with coffee beans harvested by hand from the world's premier growing regions and carefully roast them to maximize flavor. Our coffee experts create the finest combinations of beans and flavors. This artful and meticulous process creates richness and depth not found in ordinary coffees. We're pleased to bring you a wide selection of custom blends and flavors to suit your taste. 100% satisfaction guarantee. Whoever said you can't guarantee happiness clearly has never tried Archer Farms. We promise you'll love every little bit, bite, and sip. Guaranteed. On the back it says, as a proud supporter of Save the Children, Archer Farms is committed to funding education in communities where our coffee is grown. Save the Children is a leading organization that creates lasting change and ensures the well-being of children in more than 120 countries around the world. And that makes every delicious sip taste even better. Ingredients. Fresh roasted, 100% Arabica coffee. Flavored coffees contain natural and or artificial flavoring. All right, so anyhow, let's smell this. This has a very, very, very rich, creamy, buttery, vanilla, and almost like a caramel, but more along the lines of a toffee. Definitely a lot of butter and uh, creaminess to this, and of course the vanilla coming through. This smells really, really good. I do like the smell of this, actually. It smells good. Uh, let's go ahead and smell it after it's brewed. This has a very, again, that very, very rich, creamy, buttery, vanilla, and toffee scent coming off of this. But nothing else much coming off of it other than that. So, anyhow, that smells really good. Let's uh, go ahead and taste it. I'm getting almost a burnt almond. Well, not burnt, but more like a uh, charred almond flavor coming off out of this. Um, I'm not sure what to make of that. Uh, um, some of that vanilla and uh, toffee is still there, but it's kind of on the uh, bitter side, actually. Hmm. Let me taste that again. Just see if I can get anything else off of this. Definitely a clean uh, flavor on this. Not very murky, but still, it kind of has like a uh, like a sort of a bitter quality to this. Which I like bitter coffees, but when I 
am drinking a flavor-infused coffee, I want the actual flavor to stand out. Now, the Archer Farms chocolate one that I reviewed, that one had a very, very pungent chocolate uh, flavor coming out of that, which was very good, but this... Um, very little of that uh, creamy caramel and vanilla, more of a almost an acrid uh, bitter a bitterness to this, which is set, which is quite off-putting and quite disappointing at that because smelling this out of the bag it smells absolutely delicious, but that uh, you know it's just. I really think they could have done better with that one. Um, it just has this bitter quality to it, and I'm not a really big fan of that. I, I would have rather had tasted more of the vanilla and the uh, caramel. Um, so anyhow, let's get into the ratings on this. Overall ratings, um, it's not the best that I've had. I've had pretty good coffees and of course this also could be due to the fact that I've uh, inclined my taste buds more to premium coffees so that could have a port part to play in this. But even uh, lower budget, you know, lower brand coffees, you know, I've tasted better than this. Um, so, overall ratings on this, I'm going to give it about 7 out of 10. I really think they could have done better with the flavors on this. Um, they could have brought, definitely brought more of that vanilla out and a little bit more of that, uh, that, you know, the uh, caramel flavoring. But, yeah, 7 out of 10. That's all I can give this one. I'm not extremely impressed. So, would I buy this again? Mm -hmm, probably not. Uh, the chocolate one, I would. That one, I definitely would buy again. But this vanilla bean creme brulee stuff, not so much. I've tasted other, you know, vanilla flavored coffees that ha are way better than this one. And so, yeah. But, you know, I digress. If you like vanilla, if you're a big fan of vanilla, you know, maybe you want to try it out, you know, just to try it. But I would say, you know, stay away from that. Go more towards their chocolate flavors, things like that. Um, anyhow, that's all for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know down below in the comments section. And if there are any coffees or teas you would like to see me review, please let me know down below in the comments section as well who it is, uh, excuse me, who it is that manufactures this coffee or tea, who it, or, you know, who uh, roasts the coffee, who prepares the tea, you know, what the companies are, where I can buy the stuff, and, you know, average pricing, things like that, whether or not it's online or in a specific store, so I'm able to uh, more readily access uh, particular brands. So anyhow, I will see you all on the next one. Later.